All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Shalom to the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I want to go on this topic on you have to learn how to walk on egg cells in this truth. Okay? Which I have the Urban Dictionary. Okay? Um, which walking on egg cells, it means to watch what you say or do around a certain person because anything might set him or him or her off. Right? Walking on egg cells, the second definition, to be in a delicate situation, to be on the edge or danger. I mean, to, to be on the edge of danger or ruin. An egg cell is the thin white outer coating of an egg. The cell is very thin and breaks easily. So if you are walking on egg cells, you are in a situation where you could break something or get in trouble or ruin everything very easily. Okay, synonym, walking on thin ice. Okay, um, walking on egg cells, to be extra careful when speaking to someone in order to not make them angry. Okay, so in this truth, okay, we have to walk on egg cells. Okay, I'm going to get this scripture, Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that you walk circumspectly. Okay, walk on egg cells. Okay, it says, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Okay, so, when you walk on egg cells, right, you're, you're, you're looking at the actions that you do, whether, it, whether it's what you say or what, you know, what you do, okay, in this truth, okay, you, you don't want to, you, you shouldn't be in that, you know, Oh well, you know I I, I know I'm a I, I I got called, you know, so I'm already a part of the elect. You know, that ain't how it go, man. Many people done uh got kicked out, and many people are going to get kicked out. Okay, more people are going to be destroyed. Okay, just because you're called don't mean that your your work stops. Okay, your work is just beginning. Okay, um. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Okay, and we shouldn't be wanting to do our own will. Okay, whether it's in the world or, you know, in this truth. Because, you know, we have to walk and we have to let our light, let me get that sign, you know, Sign, man. Okay. That's in the book of uh, Matthew, man. Okay. Uh, Matthew 5 and 16. Let your let your light shine so, I mean, so sign before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father, which is in heaven. Okay. So we have to let people, okay, that, um, you know, look at us, okay, and we, we supposed to be the light, man, okay, especially, you you know, if you're in Great Millstone, okay, the light is, you know, the, this doctrine that we have, man, okay, this is the light, man, okay, so that goes into walking on eggshells, you know, throwing up the videos, okay, and showing that you have the light, okay, whether it's to a brother, okay, whether it's, you know, to yourself, okay, to Yahweh Basimia Osha, ultimately, okay, this is Matthew 5 and 15, the next verse up, it says, neither, neither I'm going I'm to start at um, the, the 13th verse, You the 14th verse, it's like here. it says, you are the light of the world, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid, neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick and it gives light unto all that are in the house, okay, and what are we, what are we, man? We're, you know, a, a spiritual house, man. Okay? That video that you may look at and nobody's watching it. You know? The angels are, are taking into account what you're doing, man. Okay? 
and showing that you know it's showing that you 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 really believe in this thing, man. Okay, and then as you know, uh, brothers, when you go out on on them highway and hedges, we're able to see if you actually a study on if you, or if you bullshitting in your life, man. Okay, we able to see that, man. If if you bullshitting in this truth, it's going so. Okay, it, it always so you can't hide the fact that you're lukewarm. Okay, you because you'll get kicked out. You you know the Lord will spew you out. Okay, so we have to walk circumspectly, man, because we're in this truth. Okay, and we don't want to get get kicked out. Now I'm gonna get this scripture, First Peter one and twenty two. It says, "Seeing you have purified your souls and and obeying the truth, right?" And which I'm gonna get the definition for this word purified. Okay, so you came into this truth. Okay, and you 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 clean your ways from the ways of this world, right? So, um, and obeying the truth, right? So, the word per um, purify, okay. Forty-eight, hagnizo, 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 okay, which means ceremonial, ceremonially, to make pure. Purify, cleanse morally, right? To make clean. How do we make ourselves clean? Through the word, okay? Uh, through the what you know the the washing of the word, which that's the baptism, okay? You 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 find out the truth, okay? And you start cleaning up the ways that you was you know before you came in. Now, I want to get this Strong's, okay? Um, the Thayer's. Uh, Greek lexicon, right? And it says to purify, right? Now it says ceremonially to cleanse themselves from Levitical pollution by means of prayers. Okay, so if you walk in on egg cells, you, you're going to be throwing up them prayers. Okay, abstinence. Okay, abstaining from from things that you know war with this truth. Okay, your flesh. Okay, it says washings, okay, getting rid of, you know, things that you may have been doing, okay, and washing washing it clean, man. It says sacrifices, okay, sacrifices, putting down, putting down, like if you played a video game, you know what I, you know, I used to have that video game demon before I came into the truth, okay, but when I, I I'm able to, to battle that now. You know, I'm able to say, oh, I, I got to throw up a video, okay? Or, or, or I got to do I gotta do some studying, okay? If I don't study or if I don't do a video, then I'm bullshit, you know? So that's a part of the sacrifices. Other brothers got wives, they got children, okay? The Lord ain't going to put more on you that you can handle, man, okay? So so you, you got guys that like to have these excuses, man. You can't have no, no excuse, man, in this truth, Okay? You going to make them sacrifices and so you really down for this or you not, okay? It says the passive um, has a reflexive, re reflexive force to take upon oneself a purification. So we're supposed to purify ourselves, right? It says, and is used of Nazarites, of those who had taken upon themselves a temporary or a lifelong vow to abstain from wine, okay? We, we're not supposed to be into all of these different crazy philosophies, man. Okay? So, technically, we all, once you come into this truth and you wash yourself away, you wash these things away, you, you pray, you abstain, you wash, okay, you make these sacrifices, you basically took the vow of the Nazarite, Nazarite man. Okay? Because you're dedicating your life onto this truth. Okay? That's what this, that's what this truth is about, man. Okay, it says, uh, and 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 one way how we we all took the, the vow of the Nazarite, okay, was just, it was different back then, but what we we were baptized baptized into Yahweh Sah, okay, and Yahweh Sah, as the scriptures say, Matthew 2 and 23, and he came and dwelt in a city called Nazareth that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophets, he shall be called a Nazarene. So Yahweh Shah was a Nazarene, man. Okay, and Yahweh Shah is the author and the finisher of our, our faith. 
okay? So, technically, we all are, we all have that Nazarite vow, okay? Which is just abstaining from the, uh, the wines, okay? Ain't saying, you know, put down, back then, it was, you know, the, the, the Nazarites didn't drink any wine, okay? They didn't drink any, uh, you know, um, um, intoxicate and drink, you know, or, or any, you know, uh, uh, um, what's the word, um, grapes, okay, and, and for myself, man, like, when I first came into the truth, I had hair, you know, I, you know, I took the, the, the vow of the Nazarite, okay, but I, you know, I was a babe, man, you know, I, I thought that, you know, it was about the law and stuff like that, okay, you, cause you got, um, the guy, uh, uh, Alize or Alizar, okay, and he wanted, he, you know, uh, he pretty much was, was saying, you know, when he, when he was cool with, with Great Millstone, okay, he was like, yeah, man, do the vow of the Nazarite, man, you know, and I thought, oh, yeah, man, that, that sounds like a good thing, you know, not knowing that the vow of the Nazarite is, is something spiritual, man, it's not carnal, man, okay, and he, you know, he's doing a vow of the Nazarite, you know, but he's not doing it like how they was doing it back then. You know, at the end of the day, this this truth is about faith. You know, you gotta drink the wine at the at the uh the, the um the Passover, okay? You gotta drink the wine, okay? Unless you're not a part of your house uh body, man, okay? It says or a lifelong vow to abstain from wine. All these different philosophies, man. So when you come into this truth, you putting away all those things, right? It says in all kinds of intoxicate and drink. From every defilement, because these things in this world are supposed to, to, to defile us. It says, and from saving the head. Okay, you don't save your beard and so on and so forth, man. Okay, getting all type of, uh, you know, what's the word, uh, shape ups and stuff, man. Okay. Um, I'm going to get uh, this scripture. Galatians 5 and 16. It says, uh, this I say then, walk in the spirit. Okay, when you walking in the spirit, you walking on them egg cells. It says, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Okay, and there's a lot of lust of the flesh out here, man. As the scriptures goes on, as the, the speaks about that. You know, you can read that. Okay, it says, for the flesh, lust against the spirit. Okay, you want to get carnal or you want to say, you know, certain things, you know. And you always want to, you know, be a complainer and... You know, just want to chill, sit back. You got to know balance, man. Okay. It says, and the spirit against the flesh. The, for the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one. I mean, these are contrary the one to the other so that you cannot do the things that you would. Okay. So when you do spiritual things, right? Let's say you're you, you, you studying. Okay. On the opposite side, you could you could have been uh, outside, you know, like when we go out on a, on a, on a highway and have just on Saturdays, okay? That's a spiritual thing, okay? And our mindset should be on, hey, we out there, we we you know, if somebody come up, we defending their doctrine. If they come up late, you know, depending on how the spirit goes, okay, we're going to still be out there and we're going to edify that person if there's uh, a sincere person, okay? But while we out there, we could have been home sleeping, you know. Some brothers could have been 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 working, okay. So when we out there, we're doing things of the spirit, okay, and not fulfilling the flesh. You got some guys that are in the flesh all the goddamn time, and then when they go out there, they 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 just got the mindset of hey, when we wrapping up camp, you know, so I could go home and go do this, you know, so I could go do that. You know, because why? They're not being spiritual. <coughs> They're less than after the flesh. Okay, so the thing is, the the the, the flesh. When you're doing things of the flesh, you 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 offer the, in the spirit. Okay, now sometimes you do. You know, take a sip back. You know, chill. You know, probably sip on some wine or something like that. You know. While you while you home, 
you know, watching videos and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, you know, you know, you got to get back into the spirit, man. Okay. So I'm going to continue on. Philippians 1 and 27. Only let your conversation be as it becomes the gospel of Yahweh Shah. That whether I come and see you or else be absent, right? Because it's a good thing. If Yahweh Shah was here, okay, which he is here, you know, in the spirit, okay, brothers can't, some brothers can't receive that, okay? They expect Yahweh Shah to be right there in the flesh, okay, to, 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 you know, for them to start acting right, but I'm going to go on to, hey, if Apostle Tahar went to these different camps, okay, you're going to have a lot of people that, you know, try to get in order, you know, they, you know, it's like, you know, that, 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 um, you know, want to try to make sure things are, are clean and, you know, but, but otherwise it would be dirty, you know, trying to bullshit, you know, Try to act like they was all spiritual before, but they was all, you know, in the flesh, you know. They they was down with, you know, what what they acting like they down with the, the the gospel, you know. But but otherwise they 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 not walking on eggshells when when they not there, okay. But if but if apostle Tahar came to these different camps or even any apostle, okay, or elder went to these different camps. People are going to be acting like, oh, shoot, you know, I got to get myself right, man. You know, the apostle coming down, we don't know what they, what's going to happen. When you already have that mindset like, hey, I've been doing what the heck I was supposed to do anyway. I, 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 hey, I'm ready. I'm, my schedule is free, man. If the apostles come, I'm going to be right, you know. No, that's because I already, you know, I already trained myself how to walk on these egg cells, man. Okay, it says, I may hear of your affairs, so whether the apostles and the elders are here, okay, in the flesh or, you know, not here, okay, they always hear about the, the, the affairs, the things that brothers are doing, and then when they come, they could, like I said, brothers, we know, you know, through the spirit when, when a brother comes out and he's been bore sitting, it shows, it shows when a person is lukewarm, okay, and and they they've been around for many years to know what what a person is doing, whether they bullshitting or not. It says that you you stand fast in one spirit, okay? Because it's only one spirit, man. Okay. It says with one mind striving together for the faith of the gospel. Okay. So the the camp as a whole. Okay, brothers are doing videos. Okay, this brother been throwing up videos all week. You know, even even paying his tights, okay. This brother, you know, or he might have came up on hard times, but this brother, you know, he 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 helped him out, okay. Those are the things that that brothers are looking forward to, you know, hearing. Not the oh that brother was bullshitting. You know what you're going to hear about that type of stuff. That that brother bullshitting ain't walking on eggshells, like, you know, he ain't he don't care. He eating without fear, basically. That guy gonna get out of there, man. He's gonna get 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 thrown out. Okay, and, and sometimes they don't even take a, the the apostles and the elders to throw out because the camp leaders are able to say, "Yo, get out of here, man. You bullshit, man. Oh, you suspended, man. You know." And and us as camp leaders, we also gotta we also gotta have that. Hey, you know, I gotta make sure that I'm doing you know good because I gotta set the example for our brothers, man. You know? So, I'm going to get two more scriptures. Okay? This is Galatians 3 and 3. Are you so foolish, having begun in the spirit? Okay, so now you know the truth. It says, are you now made perfect in the by the flesh? Okay, which this is going into the law. Okay? But, you started out, you know you, in, you, you found out the spiritual things, right? So now all of a sudden you made perfect in the flesh. You ain't going to have temptations. You know, Satan ain't going to try to sift you out this truth. We not supposed to let Satan get the, the, the advantage of us, man. Okay. Because what the scriptures say, man, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. Satan is, you know, a lot of brothers look at that scripture and they use that towards, 
uh, Esau and the things that they do. Okay, which, yeah, that, that goes to Esau, but that's also talking about Satan, man. Satan tries to do different things, and he knows your weaknesses, man, okay? And, and, and you know, he, he's going to try us, man. Us, and, and the no, okay, which goes into this scripture, James 4 and 17, Therefore, to him that knows to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin, okay? You know this truth? You know how to be in the spirit and you're not doing it? That's a sin, man. Okay? It ain't about, no, you know, the laws. That's, yeah, though, you got to follow the laws. That's just the commandments. But if you know this truth and you're not doing it, okay? You're not keeping the faith and you're not walking in the spirit? That's sin, man. Okay? And and the ones that, that, that know this truth, because the scriptures say that the judgment must first begin at the house of Israel. Okay? So, so if you know this truth, your work is still, you have to finish your course, man, okay? Just because you got the, got hired, don't mean that you're going to keep that job, man, okay? So with that, man, hopefully this was edifying, man. I want to say shalom until next time.